Welcome to 1988 Capcom Gun Dot Smoke. I'm going to call it Gun Smoke because that should be the name of the game. However, uh, due to uh, some copyright infringement, basically, in a lawsuit, uh, Konami had to change the name from Gun Smoke to Gun Dot Smoke. They could have picked any name in the world for this as it's not a movie based game. Uh, and they chose to go with Gun Dot Smoke. Uh, you know, not the greatest choice, I would say, but, I, you know, I guess they could still cash in a little bit of the Gunsmoke fever in 1988. Whatever they did, it was fucking awesome. This game, you are a stranger that comes into town, into the town of Hicksville, and the mighty Wingate gang is in town, and they bring six assholes for you to kill. So, jumping right into this game, the first thing that you will notice about this game is the music. The music is absolutely, hands down, one of the best video game soundtracks, especially of the 8-bit NES era. I would, other than Mega Man, Zelda, uh, Mario, there aren't that many games with the, with the music that this game has in it. I mean, this is well ahead of its time, even in 88. Um, this, the music is absolutely outstanding. Um, the main idea of this game is to bust through the level, kill the... Uh, all of the soldiers basically um, and you can easily do that with one hit even from your starting weapon um, but you have to obtain a wanted poster to reach the boss and uh, you have to kill all six bosses to get through and save the town and you get money and upgrades from killing the bosses and uh, money bag drops in the game uh, the next thing I want to talk about in this game uh, the controls the controls in this game are spot on the controls in this game are more solid and more smooth than most games you'll play today on modern generation consoles. Um, and the way the controls work, the D-pad moves you all four directions plus diagonal plus the shooting mechanic. This is what blew my fucking mind as a child. If you press B, you shoot to the left. If you press A, you shoot to the right. You press them both together, you shoot straight forward. So, you can have a 360 degree range of movement and shoot in 45 degree angles on both sides plus straight ahead. There hasn't been a top-down shooter since then that utilized as good of a, a shooting mechanic or a, or a directional mechanic. Um, next item on this game let's talk about, let's talk graphics. Now this is 1988 granted. Um, these graphics for this time are absolutely outstanding. I mean look at this shit. The, the bullets that come through, you can clearly see them out of the gun. You can see the definition of the rocket. I mean, it looks almost three-dimensional. Uh, the character sprites are great. The bosses are well animated. It's very colorful. And throughout the six stages, you know, you're thinking, hey, this is the this is the cowboy. If you've ever watched a cowboy movie, they're in the desert the whole time. There's a mesa, and there's like an elephant butte in the back or some shit. You know, there's a canyon over there. It's Everything is brown. Not this game. Um, the first level, you got to see the town of Hicksville that you're in. The second level, you go through some desert with some, some cacti. Uh, this is more like a river basin level. Um, you go through all of these things. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. The game is great. I mean, 1988 or not, the, the game is absolutely amazing. Um, I want to come back to difficulty on this game again. Difficulty in this game, this is a, basically a bullet hell, but it is not cheap especially as you see here when you come back to the last level here on this last level there are enemies coming from behind you in front of you beside you they try to get behind you um, but you can do a cool little you know figure eight motion or a circular motion to get around them this game is not cheap this game is straightforward uh, there's there's nothing cheap about this game it's hard as hell uh, seven out of ten on the difficulty meter hard as hell but like I said it's it's not cheap at all um, replayability Let's talk about replayability a little bit. This game, this this was on an arcade before they made an NES port of the game. Granted, uh, the the arcade version was a little bit longer, had some more enemies in it, had some more backgrounds. But as far as replayability goes, I could play this game for the rest of my life and never get tired of it. As many times as I play it. Uh, now your thumbs are going to bleed when you play it uh, if you don't have a rapid fire controller, which is the way it's meant to be played. Don't be a shitter use a regular controller. Um, so all in all, beautiful graphics, great soundtrack, polished, clean controls, some of the best on a top-down shooter I've ever had. Pretty tough difficulty. Uh, I give this game the absolute Wahoo seal of approval. This is a 9 out of 10. The only reason that I would take a point away from this game 
is that the arcade version was a little bit longer, had a couple more levels, um, the music was equally as good. I mean, the game is very similar, you know, it was just controlled by a stick instead of a D-pad. Uh, but this is a 9 out of 10 all day, every day. If you have not played this game, you need to go pick it up right now. Play this game. It'll change your life. Get some Band-Aids for your thumbs.